Yo, life doesn't always gotta be that complicated, right? I don't think so, man. Like, the only, the only real pure interest that I have in this life is meaning. I want to discuss meaningful things with other people because people are so meaningful. There's so much power in their presence. But when I try and talk to people and maybe I bring up the fact that they're powerful, instantly I'm a weirdo and it kind of gets denied. Who are amazing beings or maybe agreed upon. You know, in a very vocal sense, we may be on the same page. You know, we may be uh, head to head on the right track. You know, words to words may match up, but there's no action. There's no experience. There's no applicable sense being given. Like, I could talk to somebody all day about, uh, I don't know, let's say meditation and deep breathing and fucking, you know, all this guru type shit where you practice forgiveness and you try and keep moving on and release judgments and shit like that, you know, shit that's just good for our well-being. I consider all that meaningful. It's kind of the pursuit of happiness. It's actually, fuck the pursuit, it is the, it is happiness. The pursuit is the application, the trying, you know, the, the doing of happiness. And I can talk happiness, and I can listen to happiness, and I can, you know, uh, converse with others as they speak on happiness. But there's no meaning to it. So much of it is hollow. It's all just surface level stuff. You know, I know it's hard to apply these things. It's hard enough just to read about them. Yeah, I've read the same shit from so many different sources. And it's a pain. You know, after a while, you're like, oh, I figured this out. You know, you just gotta forgive and be peaceful and don't let your thoughts uh, run wild. Oh, it's just meditates, be in silence, it's chill. I, but the people who get that, and I don't mean to be judgmental because by no means, I just am speaking from experience, I suppose. But many people who talk the talk are paralyzed from the waist down, if you dig what I'm saying. And no walking the walk. And I'm trying to walk with y'all, man. I'm like Joe Budden. Come and take a walk with me. But these cats want to talk about the walk. They want to talk about how many miles it is. And they want to talk about how many corners. You know, they want to talk about uh, the logistics of the walk. They want to talk about, oh, if you're going to walk, you got to make sure you keep your back straight. So that way you don't get injured. That's a long walk. You know, but nobody has any two cents to offer on when they walked the walk and how it was for them. The stuff that they're telling you is very, very often not from experience. Maybe uh, secondhand information where they read it and they experienced reading a wonderful book. But it's all secondhand, man. I'm tired of this fucking secondhand world. Everything is secondhand information, secondhand experiences. We spend our whole days watching secondhand lives. While we don't fucking do dick. Yo, all this secondhand shit is just like... It's tiring, man. It's tiring. There's no meaning. There's no fucking meaning. There's meaning wrapped up in the experience. But it's in the first-hand experience. Yo, that same secondhand experience that you read about, you can recreate for yourself. And I don't mean externally. I mean within. I mean, if you read about somebody who pursued their passion relentlessly... And from that, you gather the plan. Like, let me let me tell y'all. So, I used to do graffiti, as some of y'all might remember. And the reason I did graffiti was because I seen a documentary. You might know it. Exit Through the Gift Shop. Banksy documentary. And in the documentary was this character, Mr. Brainwash. And in it, you know, he was just an outside-the-box type fella, but he was cool, and he filmed everything and hung out with mad artists and saw what these artists were doing. And then these artists was uh, not just tagging walls, not just making stencils. It got to the point where their uh, canvases were being sold for crazy prices. And they started to be known, 
as artists and then started to sell out galleries and they were advancing their art career via graffiti and street art. So I peeped this shit and I was like, dog, I'm trying to be an artist. <laughs> I've been trying to be an artist. Oh, let me uh, step back for a second. So while Brain Mr. Brainwash uh, studied all these cats he was filming, he did the same. And he he's not an artist. He may have a creative mind, but he's not an artist. And he hired a team of artists to make the stencils for him. He would go out uh, with the stickers and he did he he replicated the whole scheme. But he ain't an artist. He would have shows and he would have uh groups of people that he would pay to create his art. His ideas but he 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 couldn't, you know. He 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 had the art in here, didn't have the art in here. That's cool, no problem, no judgments. But when I seen that, I was like, "Yo, I'm trying to be an artist, bro. This thing is not even an artist. He's selling out millions of dollars for these fucking canvases. He ain't even fucking paint. Oh my god, you crazy? I'm, you know, I was real a bit tight about it. So I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna do this shit." And I did it. Yo, I, I googled how to make a stencil. Yo, I had to Google how to make a stencil. I ordered some of the, the supplies online. I got something that I thought was very specific. Some fucking clear plastic that would be best for stencil making, I thought. Because I didn't fucking know anything. I was just reading. Oh, this is all secondhand knowledge I was picking up. Then I, I made some stencils myself. Then I was like, yo, let's see how this looks. I fucked up a bunch of stencils. I would have a good stencil. I'd spray it. I'd spray it fucked up because it wouldn't be quick. I would hold this too still and then the paint would drip. Fuck it up. I was like, I bet, gotta be quick. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Did that. After a while, I would overspray, and then you would see the outline of the rectangular paper I used to make the stencil because I would spray too much. And I was like, I bet, now I know I can't be too far away or it goes crazy in the fucking cloud and it gets all over. So I had to learn the techniques. And it wasn't from Google, it wasn't from a motherfucker, it was from experience, it was from life, okay? People do not apply the, the shit that they read, the shit that they hear. Nobody applies anything. People just regurgitate stories and knowledge. I could talk all day about Exit Through the Gift Shop. That fucking shit was quite interesting. But I'm not trying to live their lives. I'm trying to have my own experiences. Granted, I did jack the blueprint. Because <laughs> my passion was like, yo, this works. I see it work. It, it works for all these motherfuckers. I'm worthy of that shit working for me. And then I just fuck around and blah, say, blah. How that story ends is not important. <laughs> but my point is people are not willing to experience. People are not willing to put themselves on the line to try some shit. People are only willing to spread life through stories of people who are living. That's so hollow, man. I cannot connect with these people. How can I connect heart to heart when... Your heart is filled with stories from other people that you don't feel anything about. The only thing you feel is what you remember that you felt when you read it. Because that's your feelings. Ugh. I don't know, man. I just, I wish I had more people I could connect with. I wish life was as simple as it really is. Maybe I'm the one complicating it. Who knows? Maybe I should just give up, live the illusion like so many others. Regurgitate stories of other lives and just have nothing of my own except for the way that I tell the story of someone else's story. The little remix I put on it. Like, yo, that story was good, but you seen how I, I said at the end when I ended it with that, yo, mic drop. That made the whole story, right? It don't even matter that it was someone else's story. Look, I did it. It's mine now. Maybe I should just be like that, man. But I tell you what, I remember being like that, man. You know, I wasn't always like this. I had to become this way because I didn't like what I was. Because I felt all of this shit that I feel now, little inklings of it here and there. And I saw that um, this, this can't be life. So now that I'm here on the other side of the coin, this shit still can't be life, is it? Still? <laughs> maybe, maybe I was better off. I don't know. And I don't think I ever will know. And I'm okay with that. Fuck it, I'm here, right? Might as well make the, the most of it. I can always talk to you, Ill. You my best friend. <laughs>